Hello everybody, it's Slim Kirby here. Welcome back to more Let's Play the Maze Game Remastered. Last time we made it to the forest area, and now we're going to continue more of the forest area. To the tune of Super Ghouls and Ghosts. I think that's the name of this game. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it is. I actually recognize this song more from uh, I Want to Be the Guy, not so much this game. And no, before any of you guys ask, I'm not going to be doing a Let's Play of I Want to Be the Guy, because I actually want to keep my sanity. Besides, I haven't actually beaten that game either. I've gotten through like a lot of the game, I've beaten like three or four of the bosses, but... And I never really felt like finishing it. If I did feel like finishing it, um... It got to the point where I didn't even have access to my file anymore because uh, I actually used to play the game in my uh, college computer lab. And uh, eventually they got rid of all the computers in that computer lab and replaced them with uh, newer versions. And all of my data got erased, so I was very, very sad because, I, like I said, I got pretty far in the game. And I died. Ah, oh, dang it. Okay, well, I should have made a save state, because I know I didn't. Oh, well, that's fine. I can redo this, I guess. Not too many diamonds I have to collect. Just the diamonds in this little bottom area. Okay, that wasn't too bad. Okay, let me uh, save state right here, just so I don't lose any of my progress again. Okay, now I have to make my way back over there, just so I can go through that block. Actually, why am I going this way? I should be going the other way. Oh well. Come on. Okay, there we go. Keep going. Oh, I guess I never really mentioned it, but uh, it's around this point where. Um, I lose the ability to know what's going on in the levels, because I think this is like the last level I played before it was blind, so uh, this will, I think this is the last level, I don't know if I played the next one or not. Uh, be very careful about when you press the remote control ahead, you'll have to use it at just the right time. And yeah, I can tell what time I need to use it, so blow up the ghost, and there we go, we can actually uh, make it through this little hallway now. That is one thing I kind of like about this game. I do like how the puzzles kind of uh, use that kind of thinking when actually going through the levels. It's the kind of thinking that can really screw you over if you're not paying attention to what you're doing. But it's nothing really that challenging either. It's kind of like common sense. like. Yeah, I should probably destroy that ghost that's, you know, blocking me from going any further. That's kind of what the deal is. Okay, let's see, when do I want to go? Okay, I'll go now. Okay, that's gotten rid of. Now we have to make our way to the fire extinguisher, which we can easily do that just by going up here, and there we go. Now I just have to make it to the end, which this is the only ghost that's going to be in my way, so there we go. Level completed. Okay, yeah, I don't think I've played this level, but I do like the fact that it's using like the fast music. Uh, let's see, what are those big black ghosts? Watch out for the slowly, but highly potent bomb ghosts. 
These red-eyed foes are filled with explosives, and upon pressing the remote control, they will explode like bombs. They can also cause you to restart a stage like other ghosts too. However, a true maze master can use them to his or her advantage. Okay then. I can play your game, Shadow Mario 41. Can I even get through there? I don't think I can. Let's go back this way then. Well, which way do I go? Do I go... Oh yeah, I guess I go this way. I should play Link to the Past sometime. Link to the Past has always been one of my favorite games. Oh wow, that was a close one. Okay, gotta be careful right here. Okay. We're good to go there. Um... How do I get those coins over there? Oh, I have to make my way all the way back up there. Kind of sucks. I wish I would have noticed that before. Unless, like, oh no, 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 because I didn't destroy anything. But basically, yeah, I can go down here. I know how I didn't see that earlier. Okay, I gotta be kind of careful right here. Okay, the coin blocks are gone. Should probably save my game here in a minute, too. I'll wait till I'm past the bomb ghost. I love how the bomb ghosts have their tongues sticking up. Kind of a cute feature, I guess. Um, yeah, five. Uh, let's see. Let's go down here and read these signs. If you destroy the outer walls of a maze and wander off the level, it'll count as a death, and you will have to redo the level. Take extra care when treading to the edge. Hmm. I'm kind of curious, though. I kind of want to see that in action. So, uh, let me read this sign first. Again, you'll have to be careful with your timing. Try to foresee the path you will need to take after the bomb ghost explodes. Okay, well first, like I said, I want to experiment a little bit. I want to see this uh, death that will happen if you go off the screen. What? Okay, you're not dying. Okay, Shadow Mario 41, you lied to us. You don't die if that happens. Okay, well, let's actually do this right then. I think you want to destroy that ghost right there so you can actually go down and get that diamond and the fire extinguisher. Which I'm thinking about doing right now just because... Actually, can I even grab the fire extinguisher? Yeah, I can, I can. Hooray! Fire's gone. It'll actually make this uh, little section of the Red Ghost a lot easier, too, to navigate. Okay, why did I do that? My bad. I was not being smart with my movements right there. Yeah, that was really stupid. I don't know why I did that. Okay, I really just have this section down here and then I'm done. I approve of this. Oh god, is there going to be a way for me to grab that or do I have to be like really, really quick? Okay, I just have to be quick. 
But that's actually it. Um, so yeah, we can end the level. Hooray! Okay, what do we have next? Uh, this is Fire Emblem music, I know that much. Let me see what Fire Emblem game this is. Uh, Sacred Stones. Okay. That's cool. I approve. I like Sacred Stones. Another game I have always wanted to Let's Play as well. But for the time being, until I can Let's Play it, Crystal Star Studio did a Let's Play of that game that was pretty good, so... Check it out if you get the chance. Should I go back and get that coin? I have a feeling I'll have to go back and get that anyway, so... Well, no, you know, I'll have to get that now, because the only way to get the remote control is to get all the coins, so... Yeah, I'm gonna have to go back and get it. That's the thing about this game. If there's something that you know you can get, but you think you can come back and get it later, chances are there's pretty good possibility you can't come back and get it later, so best to grab it when you can see it and it's out in the open. Okay, should I keep going down or should I uh, see what's over here? Well, the fire extinguisher's over there. Can't really even get over there, though, can I? Oh, no, I have to explode the bombs, so... I have no idea. I'll just keep going. I'll see what I can do on this side of the map. Well, I don't know if I can even pass this. Well, yeah, I can. I can. Ah, oh, dang it! Oh shoot, how far will I have to go back? Oh wow, all the way back up here? I suppose it could be worse. Oh wow, I didn't even notice that. Okay, well, I'll try to go a different path this time. Maybe not really a different path, but... I'll try to grab other things before I go that route, because I think I still can do other things first. Also, F5, so I don't have to do that again. Okay, yeah, it was probably better that I came down here. And I got killed by the bomb ghost, of all things, the slowest moving ghost in the game. <sighs> Stop it! Ah, I'm just not even paying attention anymore. Okay, let's just calm down a little bit. This game is not that hard. Just gotta relax and pay attention and whatnot. Okay. I think I got all the coins I can down here, so now I can make my way back up. Well, F5 again. That sounds so wrong and dirty. I'm gonna F5 again. Ugh. It either sounds dirty or I'm just being immature, which is probably the latter. Or the okay, let's get up here now. That was close. I almost got killed by that ghost. And there we go. The coin blocks are gone. That'll make things a lot easier. Now, do I need to use the bomb rock or bomb ghost for anything? Or... Let me 
guess not. So now I have to make my way all the way back up. Sorry I'm being quiet, I'm just trying to concentrate here. Okay, time to get rid of the fire. Remember to make save state. Got a Mario 41, you're a jerk. Wait a minute. I just realized something, I screwed up. Because I can't grab the pink bear. Because the wall's not destroyed. Shoot, how far back was I? Yeah, I have to redo this level. Shoot. I didn't even think about that. Wow. Um. Okay, well, uh, in order to save some time, I'm going to cut some footage, so I'll be right back. Okay, let's actually do it right this time. There we go. Okay, once again, see you guys when I get rid of the fire. Okay, there we go. Now I just have to finish this level now. Surely I can do. Without being stupid about it. And there we go. Okay, this might be the last level I have to do in this video. Um, I don't know, let me see like what my time is at right now. So you'll probably see something pop up on the screen. And I have a little more time. I might do two more levels, actually. Um, Donkey Kong Country 2 music. I approve of this. Uh, where the hell am I? Oh, there I am. God, I was just like hidden in a very random place. But yeah, as you can see, we have two new obstacles here. We have some rainbow locks, and we also have yellow ghosts. Yellow, orange ghosts. Let's see what they do. Rainbow colored light blocks are a ghost's worst nightmare. If any type of ghost touches a light block, when it's turned on, it will instantly disappear from the maze. However, these blocks are currently turned off, so you'll have to find a source of power to activate them. Hmm, I wonder if the source of power is that giant Duracell battery in the top, kind of left, no, no, not left, top right corner center type of thing. I'm willing to guess that that will be our source of power. There is a new type of ghost in this maze. The orange ghosts are very similar to white and blue ghosts. Except this one variant can move horizontally or vertically. However, if all the orange ghosts are removed from the maze, the green ghost block will also be removed. Of course, finding out how to get rid of these foes is easier said than done. Well, didn't they just explain how to get rid of them? Through the rainbow blocks or whatever? I mean, that seems pretty obvious to me. Unless there might be a few levels where you have to use, like, bombs to destroy them. I guess that could always be a possibility. In fact, knowing Shadow Mario 41, yeah, that's probably what's going to happen. I do love that he used this music, though. This is one of my favorite music tracks from DKC2. I approve, for once. 
And maybe not for once. I know that Shadow Mario 41 is a pretty, uh, huge, uh, hold on. Yeah. I, I, I know that Shadow Mario 41 is a pretty huge music playlist from video games. And why the hell did I walk into that fire? I don't really understand that. I had no reason to even move that way either. Guess I'm just being stupid. Okay, well, there's no way I can grab those coins in the position they're in now, so I'm gonna have to blow up the uh, bomb in order to get there. Oh, and here's the Duracell battery. By collecting this battery, it'll restore power to the light blocks, making them active for the rest of the maze. This may be a good way to dispatch the orange ghost. Well, well obviously. They also get rid of a uh, normal ghost, too, so that's also very helpful. Yeah, I can see the bomb switch over there, so we can get rid of that now. Um, do I have to watch out where I do here, or do I just hit it? Looks like I just hit it, but I'm going to get rid of that blue ghost, too. That might make things a little easier for me. But yeah, one of the orange ghosts is gone, so now I have to get rid of the other one. I'm guessing I'm going to have to go back in order to do that. Oh yeah, because I can get all the coins now. That's obviously something I can do. Oh, and I actually got rid of a few ghosts too, so that's nice. Okay, well, now that we've done that, I um, guess we have to get the diamonds now, which we can actually do that now, because the path is clear. Gonna have to go all the way around, though, which is one stupid thing. Also, um, okay, yeah, you don't die if you touch the rainbow locks is good. Although I guess the green Care Bear reject is not really a ghost, so that really wouldn't work anyway. Okay, where do we go now? I guess I could just go up and grab the... Yeah, that seems like what I have to do. Gotta grab the fire extinguisher. And there we go. Before we exit, though, there is a Triforce that I think I'm going to go after. Like I said before, those items are not required to beat the levels, but... Me and my perfectionist nature, I have to grab them. Also going to save right here, just in case I make a stupid mistake. And there we go. And I think I am going to end the video here. So this has been Slunk Kirby. This has been uh, Let's Play the Maze Game Remastered. I'll see you guys tomorrow when we finish out the rest of the forest stages. Because, yeah, I think it would be four stages because uh, I think there's ten stages per world. And we're on stage 19. So yeah, we should definitely be able to finish this. And we'll see what the game has to offer after that. Hope you guys enjoyed. See you guys next time. Later, folks.